I want to talk from the subject, run after your destiny. Run after your destiny. Touch your neighbor and say, run after your destiny. Do not stroll, do not walk, do not meander, do not wander, but roll after your destiny. The women have gone down to the tomb to add respect and homage to their leader. They, they did not go down to the tomb expecting him to be resurrected. That is the religious privilege that you have ascribed to this text because you understand the outcome. They were not coming down to the tomb expecting the stone to be rolled away because quite frankly, if they would have known that Jesus was going to be raised from the dead, they probably would have never left. Who would leave the tomb if you were expecting him to get back up again? Who would walk away and hide themselves up behind closed doors and be afraid to come out if you thought the master was going to crescendo after three days and come out of the grave? It was not the magnitude of, of their commitment to faith. It was their love for the person that brings them down to the tomb with their frankincense and myrrh and their burial incenses just to aromatize that which smells. Because there are some places in life that smell. And the women have come down to the tomb, no doubt with heavy hearts and tear-stained faces to memorialize the master. The master is gone. And there are some glorious people, glorious people, whose love is not so fickle that the love faints when the conditions change. There are a few people, a minority if you please, who are impassioned even when it's painful. Anybody can love you when you're up. Anybody can love you when you just got a promotion. Anybody can love you when you just bought a yacht. But when everybody turns against you, and all hell breaks loose, and it looks like you're not a winner, and it looks like the love doesn't pay. Most people make a withdrawal when they don't see a benefit. I wonder, I can't help but wonder in my mind, where were the 5,000 with the two fish and five loaves of bread? They didn't make the crucifixion or the graveside service. They didn't come to bring memorials. And where was the woman with the issue of blood? The woman at the well. Where, where were they? Where was blind Bartimaeus? Where was Lazarus? Isn't it amazing how you can pour yourself into people who do not pour themselves into you. That you can, you can give yourself to people who will suck up all they can get. And the moment it doesn't look advantageous, they will all walk away. But the Bible says that love endures all things. Love, I mean real love, not, 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 not infatuation, not puppy love, not, not some, some, some dribbling of emotional expersion, but real, true love. Love is lascivious, it, it gives freely, it's, it's passionate, it's bodacious, and it will give even when you're not winning. 